Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your HTC HD2. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to load a custom ROM on the HD2 procedure. All right, before we begin, please make sure that you know uh, that there are two different versions of the HD2. There's the one for T-Mobile, and then there's all the other versions. Um, the T-Mobile USA one has 124 megabytes of ROM, whereas all of the versions have 512 megabytes of ROM. So the difference um, is when we are flashing ROMs or flashing the hard SPL, you need to make sure that you have the right one for the right phone and don't flash the wrong one on the wrong phone or you could mess up your phone. Okay, next, make sure that your battery is more than 50% full. And then the last thing you do is you need to download and install Windows Mobile Device Center 6.1 if you don't already have it. Um, if you already have it, you can skip that. Otherwise, click on that link there. We're bringing a Microsoft site. And if you scroll down, there'll be two links here, one for 32-bit, if you have 32-bit uh, version of Windows, and one for 64. Download which one you need, install it, uh, and then make sure your phone can connect to it before we continue. Okay, next thing we do is you need to flash hard SPL. This is the bootloader for your phone um, that allows us to load whatever ROMs we want. So once we flash this the first time, we're not going to need to flash it anymore. Okay, step one, we need to download hard SPL for our HD2, depending on which one you have. Uh, if you have the T-Mobile one, you're going to click on the first link. All other ones, click on the second link. We're using the T-Mobile one today, so we're going to click on that. Uh, and then download that to your computer. Okay, once you download the hard SPL, we're going to right-click it, extract all, click extract. And then we're going to open the folder itself and make sure that there's an .exe file inside. Next, you need to plug in your HD2 by USB. Select Active Sync and hit Done. Okay, when you plug it in, your Windows Mobile Device Center should automatically pop up and display your phone just like that. Uh, so long as it says connected at the bottom, we can go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to go back to our folder uh, that we extracted with the hard SPL in it. And we are going to double click, hit Run. Let's bring this up, and we're just going to follow the prompts. Uh, that pop up to install the hard SPL. Okay, I want to ask you which HSPL version you want to install. It only, should only give you two options. You want the one that says HSPL in it. So 2.08. HSPL and hit next and wait for it to install in Flash. It's going to ask you if you see we hacked it on the device. You should see this screen on your device. If so, then you can click yes. And wait for it to finish. And the device should reboot automatically. Okay, now that we have a hard SPL, uh, we just need whatever ROM we want. So click on one of the two links here, uh, the top one for T-Mobile. ROM load the wrong ROM on the wrong phone. It could possibly hurt your device. Um, so if you have a T-Mobile one, like we do, we're going to click on this link. We're going to do our ROM section for them. You'll see a list of all the T-Mobile approved ROMs that we have here. Uh, and then click on any one of them. We'll click on the first one. And search the developer's post for his download link. This is pretty far down, but it's right here. I'm gonna click on that to download it. Okay, once you download the ROM that you want, you're going to right click it, extract files, click OK, OK, and let it extract. OK, once it's done, the folder that it extracted to, you can open that. Um, most of the times they'll have this custom RUU already in there. Other times it'll just be a .nbh file. If it's just a .nbh file, then on our site in step 3b, of section 3. You'll see a generic custom under you. You can download that and then just put the exe file that's inside that. So extract it, the exe file that's inside that, you're going to put next to the .nbh file just like he had in his ROM already for you. Okay, we're going to plug our phone in via USB just like we did when we loaded the hard SPL. Make sure you select Active Sync. Done. Now it should automatically connect to your Windows Mobile Device Center and pop up like that and then you can just say 
this, it should show your programs and settings and your phone over here on the right. So long as it does that, you can exit that out. And then we're going to double click the custom RUU, which will give us this. And we're going to follow the on-screen steps. Okay, once it begins, you should get a progress bar on both your computer and on your device. Uh, just let it finish. Okay, once you're done, your phone should automatically reboot. And it'll say congratulations here on the screen. Just click finish. And then we can close everything out. Once you're done, your phone should reboot with its custom ROM on there and go through its uh, first setup procedure. And then you're all set. Enjoy.